Alright folks, welcome back to patch 1.8 on the common test server. And as with every new patch, there are new hidden vehicles added to the main directory files, but they are not available for the public yet. So let's do what we usually do. Let's take a sneak peek. This time around, we have a screen version of IS-2 and the third version of a UDES-03 at tier 9. So one's a Russian Heavy and the other one is a Swedish Medium. But let's take a look at another IS-2. <laughs> so it is a premium. It will make you credits and crew XP and stuff, but it is basically a screened version of an IS-2 and that's pretty much it. So you do have space armor for the screens but it's, it's not much. <laughs> so here is the main comparison as you can see we have two other candidates at tier 7 for the Russian Heavy and a copy for the Chinese but they all have the 122 they all have roughly the same reload time other than the knockoff KV-1S <laughs> All have about the same armor. No oh, god. I mean this thing has a screen I guess. It has the same engine power as the IS-2M. Alright. But the worst traverse speed out of all of these. And the slowest out of all of these. Also the garbagest of the view range out of all of these. So it's uh... It's, uh <laughs> It doesn't look that great from an initial standpoint, but built in 1944, it's just it's just basically IS-2 with some screens. That's basically it. All right, uh, D25T, yada yada, the same old 122, garbage ass view range, even more, 10 meter less than the garbagey, already garbage view range. But oh, crew of four, yeah, that's an IS-2 for you. So let's take a look at the firepower before we jump into the armor and other stuff, but DPM, it's okay, but eh, accuracy is garbage, aim time is garbage, it's Russian after all. 0.44 accuracy with the full crew, 3.26 seconds of aim time, that is god awful. DPM is about 2000 which is not bad, but it takes about 11 seconds with a rammer to reload, 175 millimeters of pen, 390 alpha, yada yada, but... This gun is very ubiquitous among the Russian heavy tanks and Chinese heavy tanks and some mediums, but... 1,230 health, which is... average-ish. 100 millimeters of frontal armor for the turret and the hull, the same old bulbous Cancerous tumor. That's the commander cupola on top. It's always been, it's always been there. But the screen is five millimeters, protecting the 100 millimeter above. So it's about 155 millimeters effective. Unsloped. Lower plate is 130. Shoot the commander cupola if you're hull down, obviously, or if this vehicle's hull down. You can also jam a shell <laughs> into the cheeks. That's next to the mantlet. Yeah, that's the mantlet. So there is a uh, cheek armor right here, and that is only 100 millimeters. It's flat. <laughs> Even you can also jam it into the mantlet if you have a decent penetration gun at tier seven. I mean, tank to shorter guns, heavy tank guns will pin the mantlet. So overall, the screen does not help. <laughs> I mean, let's take a look at the IS just to compare. Let's see the IS-2M. It's the same armor, it's 100mm at the front, but let's see how thick this is. It's about the same. 150-ish millimeters effective, it's about the same. I mean, my god, even the turret looks the same. Holy shit! Is it the same turret with the crevices and the dents in the mantlet cover? That looks, uh, that looks like the same freaking metal plate. Uh, render as the screen version. Oh my god. Is it just this vehicle at a few screens and you're going to sell it as another premium? That is basically the same <laughs> It's a little different. All right, so it looks like a 
half a tit right here. All right. I want to make sure. All right. All right. It's not as the same, so it's not as a half a tit ish. All right. So the metal plate right here is a different render, but it's practically the same freaking stuff. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'll give you that. It's a different metal, but it's a different bent in the metal. But you know, the armor is practically the same. 150 millimeters effective. Nah, you, no, it's not good. For a tier seven heavy, usually you want to go around 170-ish to about 200 millimeters. I mean, 200 millimeters is also like tier eight, but still, you'll get pinned in the lower plate. Lower plate is huge. Commander cupola is huge. You'll be pinned in the cheeks of your turret, as well as the gun sights for the gu uh, gunner. So, oh all right, side armor. <laughs> side armor is 90 with five millimeters of screens or 20 millimeter of tracks. So, same old, same old. You could side scrape, and this will throw a few shots, but don't rely on it. There are creases in the weld, so there are weak spots among the ridges between the different plates. Yeah, it's an IS-2 basically. <laughs> Armor-wise, you have the IS-2 armor. Yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, IS-2 for the Russians. The IS-1 with the IS-2 turret, that's a normal default. Uh, can preview? I want to preview this thing. So this thing has a little bit thicker front to upper plate. Let me change the gun out. And here we go. It's 120, right? 120. It's better slope at a few creases. So if you hit here, it might throw a few shots, but obviously you could jam one into the driver hatch, also the lower plate. And the metal plate is not as dented. Uh. <laughs> the IS is not known for armor. If, if you're playing in a tier 9 match with a tier 7 heavy tank, the most you could do with the IS is go wolf packing with mediums and try to take a few side shots into larger heavies, like flank around and shoot them in the sides or rear. But this thing is uh, slower. <laughs> so mobility wise, it's 12. 0.91 horsepower per time ratio, but the top speed is only 30. Reverse of 14 kilometers per hour. Traverse about 33 degrees per second. Weighs about 47 tons. So it's a lot slower than the conventional ISs or IS2s. It's a heavy tank, no concealment. And view range is 10 meters less than even the garbage that's amongst all Russian heavy tanks. So comparison wise, about the same DPM because same reload time, but this thing turns slower for the gun moving up and down. For the turret, where's the turret traverse speed? Gun traverse speed. There should be like gun traverse speed, turret traverse speed, and hull traverse speed. Traverse limits. Maybe that's the turret traverse speed, but th that sucks. <laughs> Alright, that sucks for the turret traverse speed. Ultraverse speed, the slowest. Top speed, the slowest. Horsepower per turn ratio is slightly better than the IS-2M and better than the IS-2 for the Chinese, but not by much. <laughs> I mean, it's no KV-122 and no IS in terms of horsepower per turn ratio, so this thing will feel sluggish compared to the other ones. I all know the terrain resistance, so... Uh, let's see if we can find out what the terrain resistance is, but I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. I cannot find out what that is. So, based on the on paper stats, the same old garbage accuracy, same old. It's even longer than the IS-2M and the IS uh, KV-122 in terms of aim time. It does have 25 degrees of elevation. <laughs> it's not gonna do much. Oh my god, this thing is just ugh. All right, we're going to move on to the UDES 0303, version number three. All right, next we have the UDES 03, version number three. So it is one of the variants of the UDES 03 projects with a turret. It's not that strong. 
it is not as strong as the UDS 16 at tier 9, the normal tier 9 for the Swedish. Yep, but it's a sniping tank destroyer, I presume. So the same 105 millimeter, I think. Well, it has more penetration than the uh, UDS 16 by like 20 millimeters. But it does have the hydropneumatic suspension, so slow down to less than 10 kilometers per hour and you go up and down with the tracks, yada yada. View range is 380, so recommending that you get a coated optics for this thing. But crew of three, similar to the high tier Swedish mediums. But let's take a look at the gun. Also, it's not a frontline reward tank, there's no infinite large repair box, so it's not a frontline reward like the char future number four project number four so i'll show you but this thing has the large repair kit so similar to the ae phase one the tier nine american heavy tank so this is likely this year's frontline reward for reaching like 10th prestige or something but for the uds 03 version number three it's likely a Rank battle mode choice reward, I guess. Alright, so let's see how good it is. But penetration is higher than the UDS 16. So 252 is good for some tier 9 mediums. Some of the tier 9 mediums have about 220, so that's unfortunate. Alpha is below average, but 360 is okay. It's not that good, it's not that bad. It's similar to a STB-1. Reloads every 9 seconds, about 8.5, 8.3-ish with a rammer. So that's not bad. I mean, DPM is about 2,370, about 2,450-ish with a rammer. Accuracy is okay, it's above average, 0 0.34, and 1.8 seconds of aim time. You can go down to 13 degrees of uh, gun depression and 20 elevation with the hydropneumatic suspension. Turret traverse speed is pretty quick, about 42 degrees per second. So gun-wise, it's not a bad gun. Uh, let's see what shell it fires. Should be APCR, but let's see. Give me a sec. It fires APCR as standard shell and APCR as upgraded shell. The upgraded shell only has 284 millimeters of pen, so it's not above 300, and that's usually the threshold of a better gold shell. But we're supposed to be getting the universal shell nerf or shell buff, whatever you call that thing for gold shells. So we'll see. 1,600 health. Nah, uh, below average. Usually tier 9s have a little bit more health, like about 1700-ish, but 35mm at hull front, 35 at the <laughs> hull sides, and 66 for the turret front. Oh my god, there's no sloping, so... If you have a high caliber gun, like anything that's above 105, you will... Whoa, 35. Hmm. Give me a sec. 35 millimeters is good, but I don't know if the sloping will def uh, make it auto bounce for 105 millimeter caliber guns. Obviously, if you have a large caliber gun like 122, it automatically goes through the three caliber rule. But you do have a lower plate, that's huge, and the turret is not that great. <laughs> the turret is only 66. Oh my god you will get pinned in the turret. So even if you troll the shot with your upper plate at a terrible angle for your opponent, your turret is very weak. So yeah, I mean 35 times 3, that's 105, right? <sighs> My math sucks. But usually with 105, uh, they probably will bounce off the upper plate, but then again, Oh, let's see if I use APCR, if it's uh, 120. So if it's 105, apparently I will still go through if it's 100. See, if you have a lower caliber gun, like 100mm, you will not go through the upper plate. 
you could go through the turret, but it's an auto bounce for the upper plate. So yeah, same goes with AP. So yeah, usually at high tiers, a lot of the calibers are 105 or higher. Other than like a E50 using an 88 millimeter long 88 L100 shooting a lot of P shooters, but yeah, you'll get pinned. <laughs> There's no way you're defecting, de uh, deflecting shells with upper plate. Just don't even deflect anything. You have no armor. <laughs> it's all green. Super green. Holy crap. Mobility wise, 20 horsepower per turn ratio, 50 kilometers per hour top speed, 20 reverse, 600 hor uh, horsepower engine, weighs about 30 tons, and traverse about 46 degrees per second. It is decently mobile, but it's not usually that fast to rev up in a sense a very fast medium tank at tier 9 with a very good horsepower per turn ratio is usually about 25 30 is asking for too much 30 is leaning towards light tanks but 20 is like the slower than average but still decently fast revving up speed so you want to aim for about 23 or 25 ish so it is okay in terms of mobility, but this thing is basically a sniper in my sense because it has no uh, it has no cam oh it has no armor. It does have the camo, so let's see camo only 17. It's not the best, so and view range is also not the not the greatest, but it's a sniper medium. Yeah. Uh, 284 millimeters of gold pin. It's a sniper gun. I wouldn't play this thing as a frontline assault-ish of a medium as the UDS-16 because UDS-16 has turret armor and has decently upper plate armor because of the sloping on you know, both the turret and the upper plate. This thing doesn't have armor or sloping. So if you get artillery, it's likely going to deal a lot of damage to your engine deck and knock out a lot of stuff. So it has below average health and DPM wise, it's still the best DPM. So I would play this thing as a sniper, but the alpha also kind of sucks. So yeah, I mean, horsepower is actually lower than the normal tier nine. Top speed is the same, traverse slower. Accuracy is a little bit better, aim time is a lot better, slightly better gun depression, better tur traverse speed, and reloads faster but less alpha. Okay, less view range, better camo. So uh, yeah, you play this thing as a sniper with camo. So yeah, the turret is so big and on slope. So here is my UDS-16. So I'll show you the sloping of the turret, but it is really good at deflecting shells when played properly. I mean, the armor is not that thick, of course, but if you angle it well and with the gun depression, obviously it's a highly sloped auto bounce zone, and you'll not really explode expose the lower plate. So yeah, this thing is. Uh, is more of a sniping medium tank at tier 9. Uh, Alright, how would I rate the IS-2S or screen? I'll probably rate that thing as a 6 out of 10. <laughs> 6.5 out of 10. I mean, there are so many premium tier 7 premiums uh, for the Russian heavies. Did I just say premium twice? Whatever. But this thing is so bland. It's just like IS-2M with screens. It's slower than the IS-2M. It's the slowest with 30 km per hour top speed. So this thing is actually like a 6 out of 10 for me. Maybe a 5 out of 10. Maybe you would actually like to play with a KV-122 than with this thing because it's so slow without armor. So this is like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> and as for the UDS-03 version number 3, I like sniping tanks, but uh, let's compare this. I have the Leopard Prototype, and I love the Leopard Prototype if you play that tank well. 
It's a very good sniper. It deals a lot of alpha. <laughs> but let me configure all the stuff. Go back to normal crews and take away all the equipment. But the Leopard prototype has like more view range, right? 400 meters of view range. Yep. A lot better penetration. A lot better alpha. DPM is also a lot better. Gun depression also not as good, but aim time is the same. Accuracy is a lot better on the Leopard prototype. I mean, these two vehicles basically have no armor, so... I mean, you do have the sloping of the upper plate on the UDES, but... You have a large-ass turret, and you'll get pinned in the turret. <laughs> so, top speed... Yeah... It's a lot better on the Leopard. About the same horsepower per ton ratio. It weighs a little bit better on the Leopard. So technically you can ram a little bit better, but... Ugh. And more view range. Camo is not as good. So... I still would prefer to use a Leopard prototype. Just because how much more DPM, how much better the penetration is, better the accuracy, better the alpha. You have all the good stuff of a sniping tank without the camo compared to the UDES. But if you have like a good accurate gun, you don't need to be that close to utilize the camo. You can just be right outside of their view range. Just behind the draw distance circle and just snipe from across the map. So, this thing is like a 7 <laughs> out of 10. I would prefer to play with the UDS-16, which I already have. I already unlocked the tier 10, but this thing is not a combat medium tank like the higher tier UDESs. So it's like the tier 8, where it doesn't have the camo, or it doesn't have the armor, but it has to utilize the camo to the sniping potential of these medium tank. So it's like the UDS-14, in a sense. Where the hell is that thing? 14 slash 5. So it's like this thing. Because the turret is so huge. <laughs> but there you go, folks. The two hidden vehicles added in patch 1.8. So I do like the fact that it's... Relatively quick for a new patch. It's like a month. So that's very good. And we get these uh, personal missions or daily missions, whatever these are called. So you can switch one out. But this thing is terrible. Deal 1000 damage for a automatic fire extinguisher. That sucks. So let's replace that. That's also terrible. <laughs> you can, I would prefer the credits. Like... 30,000 credits, but then again, you can sell this for like 10,000 credits. That's good. Uh, the 500 free XP, that's great. That's whatever. You can reroll in 4 hours, so you can get 100 bonds and other stuff. Alright. As for premium missions... Alright, I'll buy one day of premium just to see how bad it is, or how good it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me look at the premium missions. Uh, premium missions. Huh. You also get the bonds for vehicles destroyed, but... It's it's the same as the current premium missions from the current mission tabs. Just moved it from the this part to this part. It's, it's the same. The only thing you really want is the bonds for the bond shop. So, yeah, there you go, folks. Same vehicles for bond. No offers. Interesting. Do they take away the 121B? Or the M60? From switching the 1.7.1 patch to 1.8. Otherwise, basically that means you lose your opportunity to get M60 or get a 121B. So, that might be important. But there you go, folks. The UDES03 version number 3 and the screen version of the IS-2, whatever they call that thing, but one's uh, 7 out of 10, the other one is like 5 out of 10. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.